Hello my soccer universe and so the stage is set for spring we have a Champions League round of 16 draw and I have to say my first feeling was yes it's a very balanced draw yes there are two in there that seem to be rather one-sided two draws and those are of course for the two top favorites but even the next two it's not as a foregone conclusion the rest is really really very much in balance and will give us very interesting matches for sure i hope that the schedule maker of uefa and at the moment i do not know yet the schedule but i'm planning to do the editing late enough that i can put the schedule in here as well uh, so you will see it in the in this video but if they do this right we can have like one uh, favorite matchup with a very balanced matchup for really uh four four uh days of quite some good and tense action there um i think for me the biggest winner of the draw and this is not to discount that i also see that but for me the biggest winner of the draw is psg because you know there are not many teams that you could could have drawn where you would think think that you are favorites uh you could not draw dortmund which anyway you didn't perform all that well against so uh they also see that you've found yourself in, in the favorite position again which means that you have a decent shot at qualifying because remember around round 16 psg usually got hammered with the draw this time actually they got away easy and we don't i cannot really say there is one team that got hammered but we have some very interesting pairings in there and i would say without me for talking here are the pairings with the favorites and let's go one by one this is in the order that they were drawn we first have arsenal against porto uh you see arsenal are favorites 64 to 36 however i think that porto is an opponent that can hurt you unless your name is liverpool but yes against the premier league league opponents porto have not done, done, done well so arsenal i think should be considered favorites there but remember last year in the europa league they got eliminated by Sporting. So, just saying. Then, I think the first mega clash, the Maradona Derby, if you like, between Barcelona and Napoli. And Napoli have a horrible record against the big Spanish teams. Either this time around, Barcelona seems beatable. Napoli also doesn't look quite right. Yes, Barcelona potentially lucked out a little bit on that, that one, but so will Na Napoli. I think it's a really, really tight affair. One of the tightest that, that we have, one of a um, couple of Spain we Italy match up there. That's already a pretty, pretty big one. Then PSG was drawn and they get Real Sociedad and, you know, it is not a foregone conclusion, but PSG are solid fav favorites in this one. Uh, 56 to 44. I think they will like this draw. I think also Real Sociedad will like it. You know, Luis Enrique coming back. There's also some a little bit. I mean, would would have been better if uh, he would have gone to Barcelona. But you know, there's quite some interesting stuff in there. Then I think for me the top duel of this draw, which is Inter against Atletico. Uh, also, I think in a way Inter lucked out because they are favorites here. How Atletico is everything but an easy opponent. And Diego Simeone against his former club. Bam! That's a big one. I think it could have been probably only be more interesting if we had Barcelona against Inter and Napoli against Atletico where uh, father against son. But other than that, Atletico against Inter, that's a proper match matchup. That has everything in there. You see a very self-assured Inter against a really rough and tough Atletico Madrid. I don't expect many goals in this one, but I think this is the matchup of the round. Then another one that I think will be probably fly a little bit un under the rib. I think it's a really interesting one. Uh, Borussia Dortmund against PSV. Uh, yes, Daniel Marlen went that route. I think here PSV have a decent chance of actually ousting Borussia Dortmund, who have been done really well in this Champions League season. So uh, I don't think uh, this is counted, but among all the possible draws for PSV, this is probably not such a bad one. So I really looking forward to that match as well then we have the two that are really not much of a contest i mean bayern against lazio we had that before and bayern just steamrolled lazio lazio is bad bayern is most top favorites i don't expect much here and then manchester united against copenhagen same thing uh manchester no. manchester city against copenhagen sorry for that hey but i'm wearing your the, your george jersey uh, it's also, um, I don't see much of a surprise. Maybe as a Manchester, we're coming eliminate Manchester uh, United. So therefore, 
CD can show how it's done uh, to their local rivals. And then Real Madrid against Leipzig. Um, deceiving draw. It's a little bit like Arsenal against Port Porto. There's a clear favorite in there. Um, but you know, on the day, Leipzig can hurt people. So yeah, I think, as I said, really, really in, interesting. Let's look also how this uh, changed the overall uh, ranking of the fa favorites. And, and we see that Bayern have now slightly easier draw gone ahead of Real Madrid uh, closing in on City it's still very 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 much City you see PSG rising up this was almost the dream draw for, for, for that and again I'm not discounting Real Sociedad it's just that PSG must be considered above Real Sociedad but don't forget I would consider Inter above PSG at this moment and Real Sociedad's boss Inter. So that's why I don't think this is an easy draw. And whatever I'm saying now, in three months time, this might or two months time, this might not even count anymore because many things can change. But we see PSG definitely showed up in that one. Uh, it's Barcelona, Atletico and Dortmund I came a little bit down. Then you see also Real Sociedad against Leipzig because Le Leipzig got a hard draw and PSV also got a little bit of, of an improvement in. So you can kind of get a feel about the winners and losers. But yeah, hey, we know now how the knockout stage is set up. Let me know what, how you like the draw and which matches you are looking forward to. How do you like the draw for your team? I actually really said I don't really have a team in there. Maybe um, Napoli, but you know, let's see. I can watch it as, as a neutral video, which is also fun. In any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!